Hello everyone, welcome to Amasapti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create resource mailboxes in Exchange Online using Exchange Admin Center. There are two types of resource mailboxes available in Exchange Online Room Mailbox and Equipment Mailbox. We can create resource mailboxes in Exchange Admin Center or in Exchange Online PowerShell. First, let's talk about the Room Mailbox. Room Mailbox is a resource mailbox that is assigned to a physical location such as a conference room, an auditorium or a training room. After you create room mailboxes, users can easily reserve or book rooms by including room mailboxes in meeting request. To create a new room mailbox, we need to access and log in to the Exchange Admin Center. For that, open your favorite web browser and type in the URL https colon double slash admin dot exchange dot microsoft dot com and press enter key. Enter the email address of your administrator to sign in. In my case, the email address is cladmin at clarex dot on microsoft dot com. Enter the user password. And click on sign in. In the Exchange Admin Center, first of all, we need to click on Recipients and under Recipients, we need to click on Resources. At this moment, we don't have any resource mailbox in our Exchange Online. To create a new resource mailbox, we need to click on Add a Resource. Select the resource type which you want to create. First, we'll go with a room mailbox. And then we need to enter the name of the room mailbox. Let's give name meeting room east. Then we need to enter the email address for this resource mailbox, which is also going to be the same meeting room east at our domain name. Uh, let's click on this uh, drop down button and let's select our domain name clarex.onmicrosoft.com. If you have added custom domain name to your organization, you can select that as well. Remember one thing that Room Mailbox has an email address but it doesn't have an associated user account to sign in to the mailbox. Next, enter the capacity, location and contact information of this meeting room. After entering capacity and location information, I can to click on next. Uh, fill up other basic information like department, company, etc. At this moment, I'm not going to define this basic information. And when you click on next, on booking options page, add the settings for booking policy that defines when the room mailbox can be scheduled. At this moment, we are going with the default settings. I'm going to click on next. Review the selection which you have made. A resource name, meeting room is. This is the email address, capacity and the location. I'm going to click on create to create new room mailbox. We can see the message resource mailbox creation is in progress. This may take a minute or so to complete it. We can see the confirmation message that resource mailbox has been created successfully. Click on done. Under resources, we can see newly created room mailbox name meeting room east. Now we are going to create a new equipment mailbox and for that click on add a resource. And this time we'll select equipment as a resource type. Let's select the radio button equipment. Equipment mailbox is a one kind of resource mailbox assigned to a resource that is not location specific such as a portable computer, projector, microphone or a company car. After we create an equipment mailbox, users can easily reserve the piece of equipment by including the corresponding equipment mailbox in a meeting request. So here, let's enter the name for this equipment mailbox. Now I'm going to give name Projector1. 
then we need to specify resource email address which is going to be project1 at clarex.onmicrosoft.com okay if you have added your custom domain then you can select that domain as well uh, since it is a projector i'm not going to define capacity location and other information i'm going to click on next on this page you can fill up other basic information like department company region etc i'm going to click on next on booking options page we are not going to change any settings we're going with the default booking policy that defines when this equipment mailbox can be scheduled i'm going to click on next review the selection and if you are happy with it click on create okay resource mailbox has been created successfully uh, we can see the message and now i'm going to click on done under resources we can also see the newly created equipment mailbox named project one suppose if you want to edit the properties of any resource mailbox that time you simply need to click on it and click on this edit icon to edit certain properties here we can see the name email address capacity and location information and other information that you can edit it from here okay you have options to specify delegates uh then manage settings that how this uh, resource mailbox can be booked the similar settings will be available for our equipment mailbox as well uh, let me close it and let's click on equipment mailbox okay and by clicking on manage delegates so uh, we can manage the delegates who has a permission to manage this uh, resource mailboxes okay so that concludes the video on how to create a resource mailbox in exchange online using action admin center thank you for watching this video have a nice day